on the old YouTube. Do you have an intro? No, you're on. Cool. All right. I'm just going to... All right. What's up, guys? Go ahead and start tuning in. We are getting everything ready for our fourth episode of Meal Prep with Marissa as me. So uh, we'll give it a few more minutes, wait for a few more people to join in, and then we'll get started. Got a nice little What's up, guys? flavorful recipe. So many way today. So go ahead and introduce yourselves in the comments and let us know you're here. Not that you need any encouragement to do that because you guys obviously just chat away while I <laughs> remain oblivious to your comments unless Trainer Matt decides to tell me what they are. Just let me know when, when I should start. Well, we got Sherry in the house. What's up, Sherry? We got Denise in the house. Denise, of course. She's been looking forward to this all week. Marissa. This is me, Marissa. I'm getting so good at these intros. <laughs> um, so today, by a special request, we had Denise request an Italian style dish. So thought about doing some pasta, but then of course there's so many ways to make that a little bit lighter, a little bit healthier, and take out some of the heavy carbs and calories that are usually associated with Italian meals. So um, what we're going to be making today is a spaghetti squash primavera. Now primavera is awesome because if you don't already know what that is, because you're not a guido like me, <laughs> and you're going to basically just make like a super uh, light vegetable sauce, and we're going to top that on um, some spaghetti squash. So I've got my spaghetti squash in the oven. That takes like 35 to 40 minutes to make. And I thought that it would be way nicer of me to just go ahead and start that rather than put that in the oven and just make you wait for 40 minutes. So that's almost done. And I'm gonna get started on my fillings so that you guys can follow along with that. So I'm gonna use chicken. You can use chicken sausage or like a lighter meat here if you want to add that, or you can just make the spaghetti squash without any meat and then just serve a protein on the side because if you know me, you know that I'm a meathead. I like my protein and it's really, really important to have it with every meal. So um, I'm gonna use chicken and I'm gonna start by making this. I'm just gonna make like a shredded stovetop chicken so that I can easily put it into my meal. Um, so I'll put that in there, I'm gonna cover that up, boom, and I'm gonna set that on. Um, so wash your hands after handling chicken, you guys. I don't know much about food safety, but I know that I don't wanna get salmonella. All right, so um, to be completely honest, I'm just gonna wing this chicken. I'm just gonna put it on the stove and Wait until it looks done. <laughs> I did put some Italian seasoning in the water and I also put a chicken bouillon cube because I see my mom do that a few times and she's a pretty good cook. So um, thanks mom. What I'm also going to get into is chopping up some of my vegetables. Um, full disclosure, I bought these already chopped because I'm lazy. So this is just a mixture of bell pepper and onion. Um, 
because what we're going to be putting in our Primavera mix, we're going to have zucchini, bell pepper, onion, and you're also supposed to have tomato because um, apparently I just forget something every time we do this. But I can't run to the refrigerator and grab tomato because I literally have no tomato. So traditionally you are supposed to use tomato in this, but I ain't got none. So I'm just going to not use it. So I have bell pepper and onion and I'm going to chop up my zucchini. See this knife? It comes with its own case. That's how you know it's good. Lethal. Lethal. <laughs> Lethal weapon. <laughs> so with all of this, I am actually going to cut these because these are... Um, some long strips like these are like chicken tenders size and I need them to be chicken nugget size so I'm gonna cut those. I like to put things into um, terms that I can understand and that's one that I can. So I'm gonna chop this up and this is not a breakfast dish. I know you're probably mad confused but um, honestly like can't anything be a breakfast dish if you just put an egg on it? So you can make this and put an egg on it. You could, yeah. Um, but yeah, so like I said, special request for this recipe. And if you guys have other recipes that you want me to try, then let me know. I'm down to try anything. You guys know that uh, <laughs> I'll make a fool of myself doing whatever. So <laughs> whatever you want me to try. If you got some other recipes. She said, I was about to say, no seasoning for the chicken. There's seasoning on the chicken, all right? I'm not some any old white person, okay? <laughs> so there's Italian, there's Italian seasoning and there's um, chicken bouillon, but I'm actually just gonna shred that chicken and season it when I put it on the rest of my stuff, okay? Um, so my zucchini, done been chopped. And I'm gonna dump these all out. Why is the knife blue? Is it kid proof? <laughs> I would need a kid-proof knife. You should have seen me trying to cut the spaghetti squash earlier. It was scary. I thought about filming it, but I didn't want anyone to, like, I don't know, put me in a home for my own safety. You bought them cut, and you're going to cut them even more. Can you not? <laughs> so I didn't realize how long these strips were going to be. I just need them to be just, like, a little bit smaller, you know? More easy to digest, okay? So, boom, boom, boom. All right, so I've got my veggies all chopped. My chicken is a cooking. My spaghetti squash is about to be done in one minute, so I'm actually gonna check on that right quick. Oh, it's looking good. I'm gonna take that out right now. Okay, I am going to take this out. Using a pot holder because as we've already established, I am a master at food safety slash kitchen protocol. So let me go ahead and take this out. Can you guys see this? This is actually really, really nice. Can they see this? They can, yeah. Okay, so I made this spaghetti squash. Um, I seasoned it with salt and pepper and I just drizzled it with olive oil and I put it in the oven at 400 for um, 35 minutes. So, give it a little, when you make spaghetti, I need to set this down. Um, oh yeah, that's nice. Okay, so when you make spaghetti squash, you just wanna make sure that it's, um, like you can tell it's done obviously by the way that looks, that looks really nice. And then use a fork and start to scrape it down. When it shreds into these like spaghetti looking shreds, that's how you know it's done. So if you haven't had spaghetti squash, it is extremely versatile. So you can use it for a lot of different things. It's just a great base. So you can top it with basically whatever you want. I'm doing obviously a primavera today. I've had it as like an enchilada style. Um, you can use it as a base for anything. So um, just go to town, right? Get wild. Uh, you can literally do whatever you want. Um, and yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really stressed out about this chicken right now. <laughs> Why? I should have cooked this ahead of time. But I didn't. Chicken is just so easy to overcook and I 
get a little bit paranoid. That's why you always use the air fryer. I know. The air fryer is a fantastic invention. It's amazing. Um, if you don't, But not everybody has an air fryer, and that's why I don't want to use it. Everybody should. Everybody should have an air fryer. And if you don't have one, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> it really, like, we make everything. Change my life. In the air fryer. And I got it on Amazon for like 70 bucks. Yo, we should get an affiliate link. Yeah, make for, for air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the air fryer is amazing. It literally cooks everything perfectly. This is not, this recipe has nothing to do with air fryers. But I'm still going to talk about it because it's a cause that I'm passionate about. So you can make <laughs> literally everything. You can heat up frozen stuff. You can heat up leftovers. We made chicken, vegetables. Um, I only named a few things, actually. But you can make everything. Oh, a steak, salmon, um, potatoes. Yeah, it's amazing. It's literally foolproof. I have never cooked anything bad in the air fryer. And never. that is saying something. Okay. Do we have another? Do you have another pan? I feel like that chicken is gonna be uh, done pretty soon. No, they're big pieces of chicken. Guys, what do you think? Is the chicken done? Let's take a poll. Is the chicken done? Vote yes or no. Should I check it now? Oh no, it's not done. Whoever voted yes, prayer Matt. Okay, stop. <laughs> okay, couple here. The, the people are saying that we should maybe do a demonstration on the air fryer one day. Yeah. Like but everything the thing in is, the air fryer. Just wait. like cook a chicken in the air fryer real quick. I've made cook a whole a, chicken in the air fryer. A whole chicken. Yeah. Legs and torso. <laughs> <laughs> All the ears. The I whole know. chicken. <laughs> chicken feet. <laughs> um, no, uh, you can seriously like do everything in the air fryer as long as it's not super juicy. Um, like you can't have high fat or liquidy things in the air fryer. I want to get started on these other vegetables. Everybody else voted no. That the chicken was not done? Yeah. Trainer Matt's just a little bit anxious five minutes in there. This chicken ain't done. No, that was hot. Uh, but anyway, I'll go on to a few more of the seasonings that we're gonna use. So for the vegetables, I'm gonna cook those in some olive oil. I'm gonna season them with, uh, well, I'm gonna use some garlic too, of course. What's a meal without garlic? Um, and I'm gonna use Italian seasoning, salt and pepper and garlic. Now I am of the opinion that fresh cracked salt and pepper just tastes exponentially better than the uh, pre-ground stuff. I will buy my vegetables pre-cut, but I will not buy my peppers pre-cracked. <laughs> it just tastes so much better. It tastes way different. Um, it's worth it uh, for just like, you know, a little bit extra exercise. Cranking that salt milk, cranking that pepper milk. So that is what I'm gonna use. And then what we're gonna end up topping our spaghetti squash boats with is a little bit of cheese. So um, if Marina's around, here's the cheese, it's here. And uh, I'm just going with a part skin mozzarella. Definitely use mozzarella. You can also use a little bit of Parmesan, but I'm just gonna use this today. Check on these guys again. Oh, we're looking good. Feeling good. And your whole point with the chicken is just to shred it. Yeah, I'm just going to shred the chicken. Because what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to make little boats. Little boats. Um, I'm going to shred the chicken and I'm going to top it with the Primavera mix. Top it with some mozzarella, and then I'm gonna stick it back in the oven for just a few more minutes. Wait, so you're not even gonna shred the spaghetti squash out of its? No, purpose. I'm gonna like mix it up a little bit. I'm not gonna leave it like hard, like solid in there. I'm gonna give it a little. I'll do that now. <laughs> I got time. So I'm just gonna give this a couple little shreddies. But yeah, I'm gonna make boats. 
Yeah, because then you can just eat it right out of here. Oh, Why am I going to dirty best. another plate, you know? That's one thing I hear. You can't, when you're cooking, can't end up with like 47 pots and pans. And yeah, dishes. exactly. Because doing dishes is lame. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one chore that you just hate to do? Tell me in the comments. Mine is doing dishes and folding laundry. If I could pay someone to fold my laundry, I would. So, any takers, let me know. <laughs> Working at the gym, of course, I do laundry like four times a week. Just a lot of sweat going on. Okay, I think this chicken's done. I think that now's the time. It smells pretty good, right? It does smell good. It does. Cause I seasoned it. Whoever does. Uh, you're trending sh uh, shreddies. Hashtag shreddies. <laughs> There's always one per video. That's one. Shreddies. Okay. Yep, and I'm just gonna pull that apart. I'm gonna turn that off real quick. And, all right, so, how am I in my own kitchen? I don't even remember what drawer things are in. I'm going to shred this. Just pull this apart. Yeah, because this is just going to be my protein, my little protein for my meal. Um, and like I said, you can do whatever protein you want if you're not a fan of chicken breast. Uh, this is actually like a pretty low calorie and low fat meal too. Obviously, I'm using olive oil to cook things in, but I am always super mindful of my portions with olive oil because it's very easy to just like pour a whole bunch in there and olive oil is really high calorie. Any type of oil is going to run you at like 120 calories per tablespoon. So, just be super mindful of that. Keep that in mind when you are um, cooking and measure it out is always a good option. Um, just use a tablespoon measure. I'm pretty good. I mean, I've done measured things so many times in my life that I'm pretty good at just kind of eyeballing it and just saying like, yeah, this is about half a tablespoon. This is about one tablespoon. So, um, if you're comfortable doing that, Go for it. But if you're not quite sure what a tablespoon of oil looks like, start measuring. It's going to be super helpful. We have a pretty consensus laundry. Yes, laundry is the worst. In fact, I have a load in. I need to go switch it <laughs> Yeah, so folding laundry, like, count me out. You know what's the worst feeling ever? Is when you wash your sheets and then you put them in the dryer and then at the end of the night, like you forget about it and then you're tired and you have to go and put your sheets on your bed. Like, is there anything worse? Think about it. <laughs> so I am just gonna keep on shredding this here chicken. I think I'm only gonna shred one of these pieces actually, because I don't know if I'm gonna need both of them because they're kind of chunky pieces here. They are chunky boys, so I am going to just shred one, and I'll just keep the other one. So I think I love to make things in advance. I know, like, my aunt hates leftovers. She refuses to eat them. I love leftovers. It means less work during the week if I already have some stuff. Oh, wow, meal prep. If that ain't the name of the game. Mm. I'm going to clean this out. Then, we're going to get started on our little veggies. All right. Yeah, so that was about a tablespoon of olive oil. I know that you couldn't see what I did, but just trust me. I'm going to turn that back trust up. Trust is a must. Trust is a must. <laughs> and I'm going to just go ahead and pop my garlic into this olive oil. My pan is already pretty hot, so I don't really need to let that wait and heat up. Also trending, hashtag chunky chicken. <laughs> I need a shirt. Chunky chicken. <laughs> Man, I would love to see just like the reaction of the general public when you guys are wearing shirts with sayings like that on 
on it. That's pretty good, though. All right, I got my garlic in there. Now, I don't know how much garlic I put in. I just put like a big old spoon. It don't matter how much. Yeah, never, never enough. enough. Garlic just goes to the heart. You um, know, sometimes I get a spoon and I just eat some of that garlic. It's good. <laughs> yeah, and this is an MA Fitness approved snack. <laughs> just gonna get a tablespoon of garlic and Very shove it in your mouth. Very low calorie, very good. All right, and now that my garlic has kind of heated things up, very fragrant, we're going to put the rest of our veggies in. Wow, I spilled a lot of those. That's okay. So, stir these up. Now, when you're cooking, because I'm actually going to do this, when you're cooking like vegetables or things on the stove and maybe you've already kind of used your allotment of oil that you want to use, um, especially for this, we can just do like a really quick steam by putting like a quarter or half a cup of water into the pan. So I'm going to do that real quick. We have to let those get nice and tender. I'm gonna stir them a few more times. We add in seasonings. Oh, and Denise, tell Bill that I just got so many more hot sauces. So if you guys want another hot sauce parade of my collection, let me know. I went a little crazy. I went a little overboard, but I got very excited. Did you put onion in the mix? Onion. Yes, there is onion, bell pepper, and zucchini. And I'm seasoning with salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning, which is just a blend of all the classics. Um, yeah, you know what Italian seasoning is. Italian <laughs> seasonings that are Italian. Yeah. <laughs> You're smart individuals. Can you say water again? Did Marina say that? Yeah. Marina. <laughs> Water? Water. Water? Water? Waiter? Waiter? <laughs> Water. Okay, so these are almost done. You know them veggies. They don't take long at all. So I'm going to give them just a little bit more. Oh, you know what? I'm actually going to put my chicken into here. Pile that in. Boop. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, so I got my chickens in there, and I really didn't need much at all. So a standard serving of chicken nutrition fact of the day is going to be about four ounces raw. So all of your proteins are actually measured raw, which is real confusing, but things are measured like on the nutrition fact label by how they come in the store. So that's why you'll see like one cup dry, one cup prepared on a lot of your things. And so chickens and proteins are actually like four ounces raw. So if you're cooking, it's going to be like more, it's going to be closer to three ounces because they shrink up when you cook them. And these were some big old boys. You guys know them, chunky chickens. So um, I really did not need two at all. Okay. All right, so everything's looking pretty good here. I'm gonna turn that off. And I'm going to start putting some in to my boats. Wow, these are looking oh, so good. These are looking nice. Wow, I just 
just really want to thank Denise for suggesting a recipe that was not going to make me look dumb. Thank you. Oh, it's not, it smells good. Yeah, it smells great. It smells good. Ah! What about people who hot. don't care for chicken? Yeah, use whatever you want. Could use, okay, so what do you care for? Maybe some shrimp? Shrimp would be really shrimp good. Shrimp would be excellent on that. Shrimp would be really good. Um, yeah. You could use some shrimp. You could use even like a, like a ground turkey. That's what I was going to say. Ground turkey would be good. Yeah. Season that up. Um, a lean ground beef. Just make sure you go lean because otherwise it's pretty point. fatty. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could get like shredded beef. Yeah. And you guys know how I feel about chicken sausage. Freaking love chicken sausage. So you can even do that. Like slice. I just threw something. You can slice some stuff up and do that as well. And so now I'm going to take my mozzarella cheese and I am going to put um, about a quarter cup on each boat because each of these boats is going to be one serving. And like I said, this is going to be really, really low calorie for so much food. Um, so I'm going to put a quarter cup. That's a serving. It's going to be about 80 calories. So we got a real nice covering here. And again, I've measured many things in my life, so I feel comfortable like just putting that on there. But if you don't know what a quarter cup looks like, then please measure it. We do have a method um, with our nutrition tracking that's just using your hands. These little guys right here. So um, you can just use your hands as a method of portion control. Super, super simple. Um, you just go based on the size of your thumb or the size of your palm or the size of your fist, which is really nice and easy. And you don't dirty more things because if washing dishes is um, akin to folding your laundry like it is for me, then you want to wash less. So that's why I like Because to do you can well. lick your hands. Yeah, you can just lick your hands. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> All right, so once these are all topped up, I'm gonna give you a little look right now. This is heavy, okay? You guys, I work out at MA Fitness, so I'm really strong and I can hold it. But, looks pretty good. I'm gonna pop it in so I can just melt the cheese for a little bit. Oh, it's like a million degrees in here right now. I've got so many heated surfaces around me. Um, and look at this, I've got some leftover vegetables. I've got some leftover chicken. I got plenty to take me through a few more meals. Um, so I'm really excited about this. This looks bomb. I think it's gonna come out good. Yeah. Wow, he doesn't even have any snarky comments to make about how the food's gonna turn out. So you guys know that it looks and smells delicious. Now I'm just gonna leave that in there for about five minutes. And any more questions pertaining to the recipe? No, we're good. It's pretty straightforward. This one is really straightforward. You guys know that I'm all about that super simple. One thing, stuff. one thing I like is to have like a, a marinara sauce on top of my skitty, my spaghetti, skitty squash, my skitty squash, <laughs> skitty. Um, so yeah, you can do like a red sauce with Parmesan cheese, um, some mozzarella cheese, and I would probably do like a, I would definitely do a ground turkey in that. Yeah, I mean. Just make like a bolognese. Um, yeah. That sounds super good. Like I said, you can also do this Mexican style if you want to do like enchilada stuff um, with shredded chicken or ground beef and make that like that. So uh, there's definitely a lot of ways that you can do this. There's a lot of, and you can add spice. Yeah, you can add whatever spices you want. So just whatever flavors you're trying to do. You can, if you don't want to make it in the boat like I did, you can just scrape the spaghetti squash out and plate it and top it with whatever you want. I've even made spaghetti squash hash browns where you scrape out the spaghetti squash and then you kind of like form it into a little like hash brown patty. Oh, wow. And then you make that for breakfast. And that's pretty good too. So it's just... Honestly, spaghetti squash don't really taste like a whole darn lot. It's really just a base. It's really just for you to top with other things.
recipes. How about how many calories is in the dish itself? Is it in the dish itself? So let's say I got a serving of chicken, which is gonna be like 130 calories. And then I've got my vegetable mixture. I'm just gonna kind of guess and calculate that all of that with um, like my oil and my seasoning is probably gonna be like 40 calories. So that takes me to 170 calories. Oh, they're making me do math. I'm getting a little scared. Um, take me to 170 calories. I got my spaghetti squash, which is gonna be pretty minimal. I'm gonna say that the amount of spaghetti squash I'm gonna eat, um, let's just highball it and say 70 calories. I don't even think it's gonna be that many. Wow, so. Um, so, but let's just highball it. So I'm at 240 calories right now. So I had 130. Plus 40 is 70, plus another 70 is 240. I think I did that right. And then, do, 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 do. <laughs> and then I have my mozzarella on top, which is 80 calories, 240 plus 80, 20. Oh man, I'm on a roll today. So I can't be stopped. Actually, this is probably gonna be the high point. It's all going down from here. Um, so yeah, like super, super low calorie meal. I would probably say that you can complement this with like, if you wanted to have like a nice fruit platter as a dessert would be good. Um, Cause this is super low carb too. This is a really low carb. What about hot sauce from your new collection? Which would you use? Oh, let's look. So I haven't tried them all yet, but um, I did have this one last night. This is, called Scordo. It is, can I see this? Yeah. This is um, like a garlic fire. So it's shallots, spices, vinegar, peppers, raw garlic, and roasted garlic. This I think would be really good on it. And yeah, I haven't tried the other ones yet. So I will have to keep you guys. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. All right, so here you can see, so melty, right? I am, I would recommend topping this with like some fresh parsley. That would be nice. That would make it look a little classy. But um, I'm a big fan. Hey, instead of hot sauce, I'm just gonna use this, some crushed red pepper. Spice up your life. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on. Doop, doop. And this is gonna be so hot. So I don't know if Trainer Matt wants to taste it right now. No. He might suffer third degree I burns. have, you know. Yeah. <laughs> suffered before. Someone said, someone said the other day, they said, um, you know that someone's eaten something too hot when it looks like when they're frowning and smiling at the same time. And <laughs> it's like, it's like good pizza. <laughs> you eat, you eat yeah. a good, like a, a hot and you piece gotta of do pizza. Like the... <laughs> and it tastes good, but your top of your mouth is burning. Yeah. But, you know, is that a sacrifice you're willing to make? Every day. But, guys, let's actually upload the reaction to this, the taste test. We'll put that on our Instagram and Facebook stories later. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is a. I think this hardly looks any great. mistakes were made. I did forget an entire ingredient at the store. What was that? The tomato. Tomatoes. I did not get you any tomatoes. Add tomatoes. But I'm. Am I getting really good at cooking or what? I mean, this is definitely helping. <laughs> um. I mean, it's not hard to improve. Where? <laughs> I mean, we started pretty low. The bar was set pretty low with those. Uh, what That's were they? true. Those were pancakes. They the Pancakes. The pancakes were the yeah. first one. So what has been your favorite episode But well, we have some that so said uh, I've made the bagels four times now. Yeah, the bagels are good. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the bagels were a hit. You know, yeah. if we redid the pancakes... They'd you know, probably come out better because out I better. wouldn't use a hand grinder. I'd well, use grinding those oats blender. was... I mean... And I also burned them. Whatever. Anyway, that's in the past. The past is the past. That's, that's right. We move forward Hakuna together. Hakuna Matata. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> no worries. All right, everybody. It looks um, really good. It looks great. I'm super, super excited to try it. And like I said, we will upload the taste test later today. So keep an eye out. And don't forget to do your weekend mission. Um, it's a good one today. 
record your time and post it for me to see. Tag a friend to try this, someone who doesn't come to MA Fitness. Let them know that we're doling out free workouts every weekend. Uh, we do have a normal schedule in the gym on Monday. Well, normal for where we are right now. Um, so make sure that you come on in. We'll see you there. And stay healthy over the weekend, guys. Stay safe. And if you make anything that looks delicious and you want to show it off to me, please send me a picture. Tag, tag it meal prep with Marissa. If you make what I'm making here, give it a shot. And yeah, awesome stuff. Cool? Cool. 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 All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>